We're Amy and Greg Gemmell. Uh, we live in Bunnythorpe, Manawatu. Uh, we share milk on this farm, which is owned by my parents, Brian and Margaret Schnell. Greg's been dairy farming for about 25 years, and we've been share milking for four years now. We heard only share milkers. We are on a 82 hectare milking platform property. We have full Frisian cows. We do around about 390 kilos of milk solids on all grass based system. But now with the robots, I hope to be able to, in the next three years, get it up to around about the 450, 500 kilo mark. With the dairy stock of the milking herd, we have 240 cows in total with split calving. We hope to be doing 180 through the spring and probably 50 to 60 maybe through the autumn. Now that we've got the in-shed feeding system through the robots, it's very simple to make sure that the cows are getting what they need when they need it and we can allocate how much they get with the click of a button. The reason behind going for the robot idea was I've been on concrete now for 25 years and I decided that another 20 years on concrete is just not healthy. So when I saw them at the field days and thought oh, I'd love one of them, we'll give it a go. Our farm is divided up into A, B and C. The cows are in a paddock for up to eight hours. They probably get half the paddock in the first eight hours and then they move to another paddock, maybe in C, to another eight hours. They come back when they like. We've only been running this system for seven weeks so far with our ABC system. I'm finding it a lot easier to manage. We've had a very wet spring, we've had a lot of flooding, and by me being able to drop out maybe B because it's full of water, I can work around the flooding. And hopefully when it's dry in the drought, I'll be able to do the same, manage the ABC a bit more easily. I am noticing that the cows are not eating the paddocks down as hard. I can go into the paddock with a good amount of grass and know that every time I come back I'm always going to have feed on hand. By being able to manipulate where the cows are going to go and how they're going to graze, well that's a real handy tool. We've not had a lot of issues with animal health on this farm anyway, however now we can really keep an eye on what's going on. You've taken a motorbike away, you've taken a backing gate away, um, you've also taken the humans out of the milking area. They're flowing themselves and I think by not having human intervention the cows with any animal health issue will right themselves. We found that the information from the T4C is invaluable. Um, it just shows us how much the four times a year herd testing really hasn't given us the information that we need about each cow. It's amazing how a cow may spike in sow count, yes, but often she'll bring herself in to be milked a little bit more regularly and uh, her sow count will come down naturally. And I also find that by bringing up the conductivity, the rumination, the activity, it's a lot more reliable as a manager to be able to keep an eye on day-to-day -day running of the farm. Being down in a pit, it does worry me a little bit. They can be kicky, there can be accidents that happen. And now I can be in with the robots, I can be helping out, I can help to train, I can set the coordinates. I've been really impressed with how quick the cows have adjusted to the system. And they're very happy cows. The training period has been over eight weeks because we've been training as the cows have calved, which means that we maybe train between two and five or six cows a day. Our very first night, after training, we were impressed with how it had gone. And then within the first week, when we had seven cows come in overnight, it was just celebration time all around. We could actually see that this was going to work. And now most of the herd come in through the night between 10 p.m. and 3 a.m. The T4C computer program has uh, been very easy to adapt to. I can go to one click and see exactly what is going on with each cow, looking at, at different uh, issues. And also you can look as a herd level, you can look as a group level, and you can also look at how the robots are going and if anything needs attending to there. If you have a cow that you're a bit concerned about, maybe she's showing up high conductivity or mastitis, you can enter that you want to check her before she's milked. So you'll get a phone call to say that she's in the box, she needs attention. If you're not available to come to the shed right there and then it will just send her out and she'll go around and come back again or you can have her diverted so when she's been milked she'll go into the separation room where she'll have access to water, grass and she also has access to the, going to the robot again when she needs to. We've got cameras installed and I can sit and watch the cows being milked while I'm nice and cosy beside the fire. Greg will be able to be at 3.30 afternoon games of ripper rugby and soccer. He won't be stuck in a pit milking 
The things that surprise me most about the system that I do have a couple of cows that do have undesirable udders and honestly the Lely robot will milk anything really. I'm really really impressed. She's weighed, she's teeth sprayed, she's milked, she's let go, she's fed, she's a happy cow.